But the scales, you know when you're practicing, you don't have to practice quick all the time. What you want to practice is getting good. And for example, doing something like this. You get a good tone, you know. The number of times you play high C in your whole life is minimal. So gizmo's extra expense and gets in the way. I never had a gizmo. And I thought, well, it's a waste of time anyway. Uh, now, uh, practice your, your F major scale, for example. being music, couldn't So I do Taffanel and Gobert and I do Moise because you know the Taffanel reminds me of ironing shirts. <laughs> you take the iron, you stick it on the shirt, you move it up and down and when that bit's done you do the next bit. You know, whereas the, the Moise is just a straight <laughs> done. <laughs> you know what I mean? So then, you, then, then when you've got your simple scales, you can begin to, uh, after like about a week, if you're just doing three scales in a week, C major, F major, G major, right? If you just do these three scales for a week, you could get in pretty good shape on these three scales. But if you have to do all the scales, you ain't gonna get in shape on any of them because, you know, with your timetable, you know, with the boyfriends and going down to the, the Starbucks and hanging out and watching TV and uh, mowing the lawn because your dad's too lazy and... <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> or he's what? Or he's in Starbucks? <laughs> or, or the things that you have to do, you know? Uh, you really don't have the time to do all the scales and to do your pieces and to do your etudes and everything that's concerned with flute playing. It's very difficult. So what you do is a minimum, and you you do what you can. And I suggest doing these easy scales because you can get them really in good shape after a bit. You see what I mean? This sort of thing. And after a while you'll become quite good and then you have to start doing uh, A flat and D flat and things and that's when life begins to get a bit more serious, you know? Uh, okay, now, when you're practicing the sonority, do take time to familiarize yourself with the flute, to get familiar with the flute and not to follow these rules. You know, following rules doesn't make you familiar with things. You know, for example, supposing I see Mark every morning on the train going to work, and I say, hi. He said, hi. And we don't say anything. I could say, oh, I know this guy. I see him every morning on the train. But I actually don't know him because all we ever did was say hi. Right? There's no communication. You need a communication between yourself and the instrument, and you have to build this up by talking to it. You see? Hey, how you doing? Where do you live? You see? Yeah, right. I live in Lucerne. See how, see how we're getting on here? <laughs> All the stuff that we know about each other already in the space of two seconds. Well, how well are you going to get to know your flute if you're following these instructions from one of these stupid books? 